Hello, today at the Tramites, we'll see how to get your digital certificate, whether you're an individual, freelancer, or company. Let's begin. Before starting, here is a list of valid browsers for browsing and authenticating. My recommendation is that if you are using Windows, use Microsoft Edge. It may be a browser that no one uses anymore as they prefer Google Chrome or Mozilla, but for digital certificates, it is very useful as Microsoft Edge provides all the options to manage them. However, if you are not comfortable with that, you can use one of the browsers on the list. To initiate, we conduct a search for FNMT, an acronym for the National Mint and Stamp Factory, and proceed to click on the initial link that appears in the search results. Once here, we will go to the top where it says Series. This screen will open directly, and here we have a Citizen Electronic Certificate or a Company Electronic Certificate. In our case, what we want is our own particular one, so we will go for the Citizen Electronic Certificate. Once on this page, you will see all the options available to you. You have two options. The first one is to do it with an identification that costs 299 plus VAT. But the truth is that you don't have to go anywhere. They identify you with a video, see that you are you, and give you the digital certificate. On the other hand, you have the in-person certificate, which requires going to the office, now either to the tax office or a government subdelegation. It involves making an appointment, going there, signing, and that's it. It's free and saves 99 euros. Moreover, the certificate obtained in person is useful for acquiring the company certificate. You need it as an individual. We'll go here where it says certificate with video. Once here, they provide you with all the detailed steps so you can't get lost. The first thing you have to do is the initial setup. Click on it and it will prompt you to install a small software that will make all this work. After installation, they give you a step-by-step -step guide and inform you that for Windows, you can download it for 32-bit or 64-bit or for Mac. Remember that if you are unsure whether you have 32-bit or 64-bit, you can simply access your computer folder, right-click properties, and here under system type, you will see that the operating system is 64-bit, then you would click on 64-bit, and the FMBT setup installer will open. Click next and accept the license agreements, then choose a destination location. In this case, I already have it installed, so I can skip this step and proceed to request the certificate. As I have mentioned, you will be required to have the pre-configuration software installed. In this case, we will fill in the fields with our ID number, our last name exactly as it appears on the document, our email address, and it is important to click where it says accepted the conditions for issuing the certificate. If you don't do this, we cannot submit the request. Click and scroll down to where it says accept. Bust. If you've reached the point of verifying your identity, you'll receive an email Check on your cell phone, this is crucial. They inform you that supported browsers for Android mobile devices are Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Samsung Internet, and for iOS, Safari. You will be asked to enter the nine digit code that was sent to your email, your ID card number, first surname, mobile phone number, and confirm your mobile phone number. At this point, you'll need a comfortable space for recording. You'll have to show your document on both sides. A capture will be taken and a video will be recorded. Recommendations include having a clean space, ensuring the background is not cluttered, aiming for a single tone wall, and having good lighting. Once the video is finished, you click on I have read the terms and conditions and scroll down to where it says accept. Once you have all this ready, we can proceed to download the certificate. Again, it will ask for our identification number, last name, and the request code that has been sent to our email, and then we can download our certificate right away. If we close this tab, you will see that I already have my digital certificate here. Take into account the extensions of the certificate. In this case, mine is PFX, but there are more extensions. For example, PFX is the backup with the private key of a certificate. If exported from Internet Explorer, P12, the same backup with the private key, but from Firefox, the CR and CRT are for the public key from Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox, respectively. If I go to my document, all the certificates have this symbol, which is an open envelope with a key. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get the digital certificate. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box. For more information, remember to check our website and follow us on our social media platforms. You'll find the link in the description box below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve with expert guidance on streamlining your paperwork, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to our channel.